Hi Aquarius, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your July 2021 reading using the horoscope spread, different areas of your life here, and see what's going on for you for July. July 2021 for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. What does Aquarius need to know? Pretty general messages, take what resonates. Leave the rest. If you're interested in the extended, the link will be in the description box below. What's going on with Aquarius, please? For July, from the first house to the 12th. One more. Okay, quick communication. Hmm. Venus in Scorpio, we have, um, it looks like this is communication regarding something that you've been fantasizing about. It seems like now the time is very much here changing. Something feels lucky. It may feel like this random quick message that is coming in. Wow, look at you with the star in the seventh house. Hmm. Okay. Hermit. With the hermit being the overall situation, I feel, I don't know if you guys had this for this week as well, uh, but I feel like it has to do very much with the star here. Because you're even starting with the Knight of Pentacles. The Hermit to me is just a lot of inner reflection, trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel, thinking about it. Maybe you have been very introverted or, again, going within yourself. Even your attitude for July, it looks like there's um, action that you're going to take, action that you uh, have thought about. You are not going to be impulsive. You are not going to be rushing in. Uh, it's just very grounded type of personality or behavior for um, July. Just someone that is thinking here, what's the best action that I need to take? How can I predict here? It's like traveling that known pathway. That's You, you seem grounded. You seem very much knowledgeable in the way that you want to take action, but you're not going to be impulsive. For some of you, it's just going to be this type of attitude that feels not only earthy, but feels like uh, grounded financially, security here. That's that's your behavior. Now, you guys feel stuck when it comes to uh, how you're dealing with possessions, how you're dealing with money, how you're dealing with your values. There, there's something here that you feel like you cannot do anything. Like you, you see like you're trapped. It's mostly in your mind here, but the way that you see your values or your self-esteem or how, you know, your even your bank account here, you feel like trapped in this situation. I have to say the earth houses, they don't look that good. You have a different perspective of what is that you want to do here when it comes to your habits. And this may be why you're feeling stuck. Even when it comes here to something of authority or when it comes to a vocation, you feel like you have to overcome all these challenges and all these obstacles. And this, this might be the reason here why you have the Eight of Swords. And I feel like the Hermit is trying to find a way to get out of this. It's so interesting because the Knight of Pentacles is how we start this reading and we end in, ending it with that Ace of Pentacles, which I feel like that's what the Knight of Pentacles is holding, is holding that opportunity and feeling like, what do I need to go here? If It may be that uh, some of you are trying to, to feel safe when it comes to um, what you possess, to have your security, to have um, financial well-being. I, I'm not getting that you are worried. I'm just getting that you are trapped in how you see these things. Like you feel blocked. There is a wish fulfillment here. Now, this may be that in your mind, you have something that you want to, to do this month. Your environment is all about gratification. Your mind is all about self-sufficiency here. Just going after what you want. 
the nine of cups, uh, such a Piscean house in um, a Piscean card in the the third house. It's a little bit that your thinking is just going to be emotional, and we know that the nine of cups was just self gratification. So maybe because you feel like okay, I I have to. Maybe you don't want to deal with the financial for some of you here, or you just don't want to put a lot of uh, thought into your uh, tangible things because your mind here is floating in this Piscean world. I just want to, you know, go, go after my desires. Uh, it may be regarding writing here. It may be that your thoughts are regarding a person that fulfills you. But these two together um, have Gemini and Pisces, by the way, which um, both are mutable, both flexible, but have some type of uh, tension with uh, each other. So this may be, again, as you're trying to be methodical, feeling trapped by whatever it is, responsibilities or values that you have, but also your mind and your thinking feeling like, I just want to go after what I desire and want. At home, it looks like you guys uh, feel victorious. When it comes to your emotions, when it comes to your family situation, your foundation, it looks like you are on top of the world here. You feel successful regarding family matters. Romantically, there's uh, this is like uh, someone that is coming here full of love. We have the romantic night here. It may be because you have your mind is all about this gratification. Some of you here feel like love is coming towards you. Now, this may be uh, the romantic night that is coming towards you or you towards someone, but you have love. You are being very romantic this month. Romance is knocking on your door this month. With um, You might feel very poetic for some of you if you have any type of talent, uh, you know, when it comes to poetry with these two. But most than anything, because you're hopeful, even in the house one-on-one connection, you seem very hopeful with the stars. So romance is big here for you, and it looks like someone is coming. You might feel um, like this fairy tale. Now, what is happening, as I mentioned, with the hangman, your, your routine seems very much like surrendering observing you you might be some of you may feel like you have to surrender right now to something that you're doing your services at work or anything here in in your uh, day-to-day routine the hangman is just feeling like okay i have to look at it a different way i have to have a different perspective right now i cannot do much and it again because you feel blocked or challenged here by certain uh, authority or when it comes to a career situation you feel like a little bit blocked and as I mentioned, it has to do with that feeling trapped as well. But romantically or with a partner here, you feel like something very beautiful. There's the wish fulfillment that is coming towards you guys. There's a desire. The death card is such an interesting because that house is the Scorpio house and the death card does represent Scorpio. For some of you, you may have an intimate connection with a Scorpio. For others though, like I, I feel like this is a big transformation. It may be helping you because this is what you own, what you possess, and this is what you want to share. But this house does deal with ending and transformation. It may be that, again, something here within you changes completely. The way, um, you know, you look at intimate matters, any type of shared resources that you have with someone. It's, go it's a major arcana, and it's going to be very important in such... Um, a house there's going to be some big transformation that is coming towards you and again i do not believe that has to do with the love connection because i see here that there's something very beautiful that is coming towards you i think this has to do this change has to do between again what you're feeling trapped what is this kind of surrendering to to this energy and feeling like you have to to play martyr or to uh, to sacrifice so big transformation in that house. Um, you might feel like you don't look at certain situations the same, even when it comes to, to a connection. Some of you may be wanting to travel here, uh, changing courses. If you are uh, dealing with a long-distance person, it looks like they're trying to move on. They don't want to be stuck anymore in drama. So someone definitely is looking outside of the box here and trying to leave um, sale smooth transition especially if after this uh big transformation here and ending you might feel like your beliefs uh change here and you're leaving behind things 
As I mentioned, the seven of wands to me is just some type of obstacles and challenges regarding authority or when it comes to your career and your status. You're determined to overcome it. But at the same time, I feel like, like someone is tied you down. I really, these three cards, I, I feel like something is like keeping you tied down here. And you're trying to fight it. The 11th house with the Three of Swords is you guys. Um, the, this is the house of goals, friendship, dreams, very futuric, futuristic. And I feel like there's, there's some type of heartbreak here. I don't know if this is a separation between you and a friend. I don't know if you feel like there's certain goals and dreams here that feel painful now that you did not realize them. But I'm getting mostly this has to do with some type of um, friendship, some type of acquaintances. That's, that's how I see the Three of Swords. I don't feel like it's because your mind and your thinking has something that uh, you desire. But when it comes to platonic friendship, social groups, and again, feeling like for the month here of July, what your, your goals and your dreams are, there's something that feels painful for you guys. There is an opportunity here, Aquarius, behind the scenes with the Ace of Pentacles. There is a chance. How, you know, you use that potential. This may be someone hidden here that wants a chance, wants you to open the door. But for others, you here want this. How you deal with that, it might be that you feel like you have to be methodical. It might be that you feel you're grabbing this and subconsciously you know that uh, you're going towards this happily ever after, this, you know healing, optimism, light. It's just that there's a few things here that at the same time, no matter we have, again, at home and your surrounding and your romantic life here looks very, very positive. But how do you use this chance? You might feel blocking yourself because of fear or because you feel like you have to surrender to something. That's the only thing I feel like. You are methodical and I love the Knight of Pentacles because I feel like this is the person that Every action that they're going to take, which is you, towards someone, this may be also the impression that you'll give, is they have kind of thought every step here, 10 steps ahead of what is going to happen. So I, I feel like that opportunity that is on a blind spot here or subconsciously or hidden is what you, you know, need to work and take action towards. Now we're going to go from uh, Aries. Um, to Pisces give you a message for each sign. So if you are dealing with Aries, they are coming towards you. They may want to start here slow, methodical friendship type of uh, energy, but they want to take some type of action towards you. If you're dealing with Taurus, they, there's blocking here. Um, someone feels trapped, fearful in their thoughts. They may have all these uh, anxious thoughts about you, but they feel like they cannot do anything. They're, they're trapped. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they have a wish fulfillment. They desire you. They want you. And if you're dealing with cancer, they admire you. They, they very much put you on a pedestal. This is someone that wants to win you over. They may be a little bit showy here or wanting to look, you know, certain, uh, have certain image. If you're dealing with Leo, your opposite sign, well, they, they love you. They have romance in mind. They want to be with you if you're dealing with a Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're hanging in there, idealizing you, looking at you in different perspectives, self-sacrificing, but don't expect anything from them to come forward. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're hoping here for you. They want you. They have this kind of too good to be true, but they look at you as the one here that they want to be. You are the star that shines for them. Libra is all into you. If you're dealing with Scorpio, they're going through a lot of painful endings. And I can say here, big transformation, some type of endings. Things will never be the same with you and Aquarius. I'm sorry, and Scorpio, Aquarius. Now, they may be, you know, changing the relationship. Doesn't mean that the relationship will end, but things will change, will not be the same. If you are dealing with Sagittarius, they're trying to let go, move on. It looks like they feel like they have to... Um, transition here they have to look outside of whatever this drama or conflict has been if you're dealing with capricorn they feel 
in a way here like they have to overcome all these challenges they feel like they have to stand their ground and very defensive if you're dealing with another aquarius they feel heartbroken and disappointed and if you are dealing with pisces they want a chance they want to open the door they want a chance here with you it's all about an opportunity how someone takes that chance overall again i feel like you're searching and you're looking and trying to, to find a way here to your answer whatever is blocking you in the extended we will go from the first house through the 12 and clarify a little bit more thank you bye-bye